This video will demonstrate the proper technique for treating the inner and outer thigh using the Vanquish Flex applicator. For detailed information, including a complete list of contraindications and the product's intended use, be sure to read the operator's manual prior to operating the Vanquish device. Before we get started, it is important to understand that this is not a set it and forget it device. To maximize safety and efficacy, you'll need to monitor tuning and applicator positioning throughout the treatment, and you'll need to attend to patient feedback in regards to heat sensation and hot spots. If the treatment bed contains any metal, be sure it's fully covered by a sheet or towel. Remember, the patient and device should not come in contact with metal during the treatment. Swapping out the core applicator to the flex applicator is simple. First, disconnect the cables from the core applicator. Next, remove the core applicator from the arm by pressing the blue button. Grasp the applicator firmly, then pull. Next, attach the flex applicator by pushing it into the arm. You will hear a click when it is securely attached. Attach the cables and make sure they are not crossed. You will have to disconnect the gray cable spacer and allow it to hang as shown. By disconnecting the spacer, you will have a greater range of motion with the flex applicator. Take your jewelry. Be sure the patient removes all jewelry, including rings, bracelets, watches, necklaces, and body piercings. Position the patient comfortably in a semi-reclined position. You can do this by raising the head of the bed or by using pillows. We recommend using small rolled towels to push the tissue of the inner and outer thigh out so that it fits within the treatment field. Next, drape the patient. Position the patient's draped leg away from the treatment leg. Be sure the patient is in a comfortable position with their leg lying flat on the bed or elevated as shown. We highly recommend a fan in the room to help circulate air and keep the patient cool. Be sure that all clothing is removed from the treatment area. Next, position the device towards the end of the bed so that the arm is as extended as possible. While supporting the applicator with one hand, loosen all three knobs so the arm becomes flexible and easier to work with. Place the applicator so that it is resting directly on the bed and directly against the inner and outer thigh. Once the applicator is positioned properly, tighten the large knob at the bottom first. Tighten the knob closest to the applicator second. Before tightening the middle knob, lift the applicator so that it's about an inch above the bed. Tighten the middle knob, then gently push the applicator down so that it is just above the surface of the bed. Now, position the applicator so that each wing is approximately one centimeter from the patient's skin. Use the spacing tool to make sure you are at the correct distance. Make sure the applicator is as parallel to the skin as possible. If the applicator is not parallel to the skin, some areas will receive more concentrated energy than others. This will prohibit homogeneous heating throughout and may cause hot spots. Again, always check the cables to make sure they are not touching the patient or the treatment bed. During treatment, if you make any adjustments to the applicator position, be sure to check that tuning is still 80% or greater. The Flex applicator enables you to treat the medial aspect of the thigh, just above the knee. Simply move the inner applicator wing to the desired treatment area. The applicator wing should be parallel to the patient's skin. Use the spacing tool to ensure that you are at the correct distance of one centimeter. You may need to bolster the area to maximize the amount of tissue in the treatment field. If you choose to treat your patient in a chair, be sure that if it has metal, it is covered with a sheet or blanket. Make sure the device is positioned away from the patient with the arm as extended as possible. Once the applicator is positioned, Use the spacing tool to ensure that you are at the correct distance. 
To start treatment, select the Therapy tab and press Start. Slowly dial up the energy to 80 watts. If you notice that the energy won't increase, the device has not been properly tuned to the patient. If this happens, give it a few seconds and then try dialing up the energy again. If that still doesn't work, pause the treatment and assess the applicator position. Make sure it's not too far away from the patient, or reposition the cable so that they are further apart. And again, make sure they are not touching the patient or treatment bed. Restart the treatment and dial up the energy again. If you are unable to achieve tuning at 80% or greater, you may have to decrease energy until you reach proper tuning. Keep in mind that it's important to wait four to five minutes after the start of treatment before considering any increase in power. This will allow enough time for the energy to equalize. Patient feedback regarding heat sensation and comfort is essential to determining if additional power is needed. Throughout the treatment, the patient should feel even homogeneous heat, not hot spots. If the patient reports a hot spot, respond immediately. Move that side of the applicator slightly away from the hot spot. Again, try to remain as parallel to the skin as possible. Slight changes to the angle will not have a great impact on the energy delivery. However, greater changes to the angle may prohibit homogeneous heating. Once the hot spot resolves, wait a minute or two and move the applicator back towards its original position. Be sure to ask the patient for feedback throughout the procedure. If at any point a patient reports a hot spot that does not resolve after moving the applicator, pause the treatment and assess the area. You want to do this quickly to prevent the tissue from cooling too much during this pause in treatment. If the patient reports excessive heat all over, make sure the applicator isn't too close to the skin. If necessary, move the applicator away so that it's approximately one centimeter from the skin. Or you may need to reduce the energy.